we were pretty excited about. We had a donor that left part of his estate to Barton Community College and uh, his idea was that he wanted us to be able to recruit students, uh, do something for the students, do something for the college that would benefit everybody. And so um, about six, eight months ago, Mark and I were visiting about some of the things the college really needed and he talked about the student union and how we needed to upgrade it. Uh, get it more feasible uh, to, for the students to come and enjoy and so we got to talking about tables and chairs and paint and so forth and so we decided we'd go together and together with the finances and we would renovate the student union and we're right in the midst of it. We're pretty excited about it. The renovations are mostly cosmetic. Uh, you're going to see new ceiling on the upper level, um, new tile, new carpet on the upper level, paint throughout the entire building, some additional uh, decor in the building, uh, elimination of the blinds over the windows which made the union very dark in the past, um, as well as new furniture, uh, new seating downstairs uh, as well as up in the crow's nest area. Entire building will paint by the time we're done and should be new floor surfaces totally upstairs and uh, downstairs we'll also have some new paint and, and some new renovations to the bathrooms. Oh and the bathrooms, yeah. do they ever need it? Yes. I mean in fact this whole student union needs it. When you really look around it's been uh, quite a while since anything's been upgraded and I think the table and chairs they're going to be black they're going to be very comfortable I think the students are really going to appreciate it and not only the students you know we do a lot of community things out in our student union so we're pretty excited about getting it back from 1969 up to 2012 and so as a partner with the college I think it's going to really look nice when it's finished and we hope to have that done probably the first of the summer. We, we actually started on the work right after we came back from Christmas break so first week of January is when we got started. Um, by the time we're completely done it'll be midsummer. Uh, the, the last portion that'll be done will be the foundation's offices but we have to move them completely out to do that work and so that'll happen over the summer. And that's a bonus. We just happen to be lucky to, to be housed in the student union, so then we get new carpet and new paint too. So. But we do thank the donor, we thank the college. Uh, I know some of these funds for the college come through student fees and can only be used uh, for like the student union. But we hope this creates a good atmosphere for our students, but we also hope it's a recruiting tool. Uh, you know, when they come in and see the upgrades, uh, I think they're going to be really, really pleased. We have some new creative ideas that, that will make it uh, really pop in the student union that the students are going to like it and hopefully if we can work it out we're even going to have a uh, closed circuit TV so if the students or the people in the cafeteria want to look at uh, news or sports or whatever so uh, we're going to become big time like, like uh, other colleges. The majority of the work is being done uh, in-house by our staff within the facility department. Uh, there are a few items that have to be contracted out, uh, new glass at the front doors and some of the tile work. But for the most part, uh, our facility staff will be doing all the work.